Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a haul today and today's haul is all kind of autumn themed. So I've got a few bits to show you for around the home. I've got a bit of food, I've got a bit of this and I've got a bit of that <laughs> from all different shops. We've got some stuff from Poundland, we've got something from Lidl, we've got something from TK Maxx Home Sense. we have something from the charity shop, a bit of random, a bit of crafting, everything we love here. So it's going to be a good one. I'm very excited to show you the bits that I've got today. So before we get into it, if you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this autumn or fall haul, wherever you're watching from, then do give this video a thumbs up. And at the end, let me know in the comments if anything catches your eye, if anything would have fallen into your basket too, had you have spied it in store. Right, quick sip of the coffee before we get into it. I'm having my coffee today from this mug, which is a anthropology mug, and it just has a little eye on the front. And I've also got on the go, just in case we need a little snack, some of these bad boys. Have you tried them? These are caramel waffles, and these are from Lidl, and these are delightful. What I like to do is pop one of these on top of the coffee. They're multi-purpose because they can keep your coffee warm. You pop this on top, and it will just warm it up nicely. I'll have that when I'm finished, I'll look forward to that. So yeah, quick sip of the coffee and then we'll get into it. Right then, let's start with Poundland. I did spy lots of things in store that I thought you would like, so I'm going to insert a little bit of in-store footage now to show you some of the bits that didn't fall into the basket but I thought were very nice indeed. So let's jump into what I spied in store and I'll be back to show you what I picked up. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Your favorite music gone all the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of red We can spend all day in bed I get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you Looking at you makes my whole world spin You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon so yeah, as you can see, lots of things did catch my eye. They've got all sorts of interesting things coming into store at the moment. They've got all the Halloween and autumn-y kind of stuff. So some nice bits in that range. They also have a new section in their homeware range, which has got all the silver tones and the mirrors and the sparkle if you're into that kind of stuff. That mirrored tray for six pounds to put fragrances on or to put on a dressing table, I thought was brilliant. I thought lots of you might really like that. And they've also got some Christmas stuff creeping in store. They've got some gifts and all of that kind of stuff. So if you're somebody that likes to stock up early, then it might be worth popping in but let me show you everything that I picked up so first of all as I said everything in this haul is going to be pretty autumn themed so we're starting off with this fabulous mug I thought this was so brilliant for one pound it's just an orange pumpkin shaped mug they also had a cauldron but yeah I just thought that is a classic and it's one that I can bring out year after year be nice with some lettering on the front so maybe we could DIY this but yeah 
very pleased with that for a quid. I thought that was brilliant. They also have these pumpkin candles in store. They also have some little cauldrons as well. I thought the containers of these were really nice. I've seen similar things in anthropology in the past in their scented candles range where they've got really nice ceramic containers. So yeah, we can definitely get some more use out of that when it's burnt down. And I think it is fragranced as well. Yeah, it says mandarin and patchouli. It's quite a subtle kind of perfumed fragrance and the candle inside is red in case you're wondering. More pumpkins. I spied these, which I thought were brilliant. These are 20 little polystyrene pumpkins that are covered in orange glitter and I just thought these would be really good for crafts and DIYs or you could just use them to scatter them across your table if you're having like an autumn meal that sort of thing or pop them into a jar they would look quite nice just as decorative little pieces within a jar or you could put them onto sticks and include them in a floral arrangement too. So loads of things that we can do with those. And of course, I will be bringing back the DIYs. I'm very excited to do some autumn crafts with you. So those are on the way. I've got some bits here that I'll be using and we will be doing those and I'll get them up soon, I promise. I have found a space to film them in. Those are on the way. And talking of crafts, I picked up this. This is Hessian bunting. This was in the kind of there was a very small area where they've got some camping supplies and it was in that section. So these will probably be coming out of store soon because they are part of the summer living range. So if you want to get some, I would go in there sharpish to pick these up. But yeah, you get eight flags and it's 2.5 meters. And for one pound, I thought that was really good. And then also in the craft section, I've noticed they've got lots of new things coming into store, which is very exciting. I love all the craft stuff that Poundland do. I think the prices are brilliant. And I spied these sequins, which I just thought looked so fun. There's so many different kinds in here. You get loads and there's some really interesting shapes. I just think the colors in this are really nice. Really good selection. So yeah, you've got absolutely loads in there. It says you've actually got 400 sequins. And more pumpkins, we have these, which are pumpkin lights. And you get eight of these lights on a string and they're battery operated. You just need to pop two AAs in there. They had these in silver and gold and they also had skull shapes as well. So if you like that kind of look, you could go for the skulls. But I thought for two quid, these are really good. I think in previous years, these might've been made out of glass, but these ones are plastic. But that's not such a bad thing, I don't think, because they're not gonna break. You've got this kind of antique style glass effect, which I think is really pretty. I'm just gonna get some batteries, actually. Two minutes, oh, <laughs> he reveals that <laughs> he's got the old joggers on. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! How about that? These actually give off a really nice light effect as well. So you could pop these into a jar, and if you string them up, they're gonna send a really nice pattern onto the wall. So yeah, really pleased with those. For two pounds, I think they're brilliant. Really good size. Let's pop them back here. Okay, next up, last thing from Poundland, and it is this glass. What are we thinking? This is my new face. <laughs> so it has this kind of scary face on it, this pumpkin style face. And I just thought for one pound, this is brilliant. Really good fun. I like a novelty glass. I think they're kind of cool. I actually think this would look quite cool with a little red wine in it or a large red wine <laughs> to cover his face up. But yeah, how about that? I had three different faces. This was the one that I went for. He kind of looked the least kind of sinister out of the three. So I went for this one, but yeah, they've got three different faces that are similar to this design if you want to have a set of them. But yeah, I thought that was great for one pound. But also we could pop him in one of those Poundland candelabras and then maybe pop a little LED light in there. It'd be like a scary version of Lumiere. Beauty and the Beast vibes, what are we thinking? Have I lost it again? Talking of candles, I swung by TK Maxx to see what was in store. They have got all the autumn kind of stuff in quite early this year, and I spotted these candles. I always stock up on my autumn candles from TK Maxx. I'm probably due a little home sense visit soon, so let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a little come shopping in home sense with me. But this one is the Caramel Pumpkin DW Home Candle. I really like the stamp design on the front of this and also the detail on the lid itself. How nice is that? I feel like we should make something with that, so if you have any ideas, do let me know. It smells like something I would like to eat. It smells incredibly sweet to be honest with you, so if you're not into your very sweet candles, you might not like this one so much, but I feel like if we burn this one in the kitchen, it's gonna smell like 
I'm making something really nice. The first thing that I make something nice is popping one of those syrup sponge puddings in the microwave. I usually get that size every year and it generally lasts me right the way up until, we won't go there, I won't say it, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, next up, also in TK Maxx, I spied the syrups. Now last year, I didn't see so many of these in store, but they seem to all be back this year. And this one is the pumpkin pecan waffle and it's from Skinny Syrups. Oh, and this is 3 dollars and the candle was $7.99. Okay, that's everything that I got from TK Maxx. Stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you what is probably one of my most favourite charity shop finds to date. But next up, let's swing by H&M and see what I picked up in there. And it was this Table Runner. It's from their Conscious range and it is $8.99 organic cotton. I also had a £3 off voucher from the H&M app. But I do recommend using their app if you shop in there regularly. You collect points and every now and then they do give you a little voucher to get some money off. So this came up at about £6, which was brilliant. And do any of you remember the table runner that I got from their kind of more Christmassy range? I had kind of like the fir branches all the way down it. I've used that so much over the years and I think I'll use this a lot too. I just think it's a really nice thing to throw across the middle of the table. It's not like a full tablecloth, so actually it doesn't need washing so frequently. And yeah, just a really nice way to dress a room and make it a little bit more seasonal. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that and I think it'll look so nice on the table. I'll take some photographs and share them over on my home account on Instagram, which is Mr. Carrington Home. I'll also share any last minute bargains or deals that I spy over there too, so it's a good place to stay up to date on those. Recently, I spotted a five pound off 25 pound spend in Lidl voucher, which was free with a Metro newspaper or with a newspaper that you could buy in store. So what I did is bought the cheapest newspaper in store that I could find, which was 65 P and I used the voucher on my shop, got a fiver off, and it meant that I was able to buy this fabulous vase of dried flowers for the bargain price of $1.99. So this was $6.99, and I spotted one of these near to the till, and I'd missed it completely on the way, and it was with the flowers. So they might have one or two knocking about still in store. And it's a really nice, simple white vase with this dried arrangement in it. We've got the different grasses and corn in there, and yeah, I just thought that was really nice, and especially with the voucher, what a bargain. So that will look lovely. I think up on the mantelpiece, that will look fab. So we've got quite a lot of white pieces up there. We also had pale pink and pale blue vases too, but yeah, I went for the white, so I thought that was nice and simple. Also in Lidl, I spotted these chocolate bars. So these are the Ritter Sports Winter Editions. So we have caramelized almonds. I keep wanting to say <laughs> caramelized onions when I see that, but it's definitely not that. This one sounds amazing. I haven't tried any of these yet, but I think they all sound delicious. Then we also have spiced biscuit, which sounds very festive indeed. And then this one as well, I did share these on Instagram and a few people recommended this one to me. And this one is coconut macaroon. They sound great, don't they? And these are all 99p each. I got this blanket out of storage. Most of the stuff in the home at the moment is in storage bags, plastic containers, things stopping them getting dusty. But this one I pulled out and I'm going to pop it on the sofa down here. And you may remember this one from earlier in the year as part of the collaboration that I did with Frizen Home. And yeah, I just think it's a really nice autumn blanket. Yeah, with the tassels and the different textures and colours. I thought that's perfect for this time of year. I've shown you both of these things in a previous video, but I just wanted to quickly include them in this one as they are kind of autumn themed. Well, the leaves are at least anyway. So these are from The Works and these are 50 craft leaves and they are one pound for a packet and you've got some lovely colours in there. So I think that's a really good price for these sort of leaves if you're looking to do some autumn crafts. And as I say, I will have some DIYs on the way for you. And also this, which is a stencil kit, and this was £3.50 also from the works. They have some great stuff in the works, don't they? It's a shop that I do like to pop into every time I go to the shops. I think it's brilliant. Okay, onto my final item, which is my charity shop find, which I am so pleased with. I think if you've been watching me for a while, you will know why I love this so much. Ta-da! <laughs> How about this? So this is a vintage, canister from Starbucks. It's a really good quality jar. I've had a little play with it because I gave it a really good wash and I was able to take all the metal work off. You can kind of take it apart 
all of this came out and I was able to really deeply clean in all of those nooks and crannies in there because obviously with it being second hand I wanted to make sure that it was nice and clean and now I've got it nice and sparkling and I'm just really pleased with this and you can see the sticker underneath there I didn't want to wash that off because I wanted to show you it and also it had 19.99 on it so I think this might be a really old piece. Seeing this logo just reminds me of being in New York I think that's why I love it so much but yeah I just thought that that was brilliant and that was £3.50. So yeah, that is everything that I've got to show you for today. So do let me know in the comments if anything caught your eye, if anything in any of those stores would have fallen into your basket too. And let me know as well if you've spotted anything in the shops recently that you think I might like. If you are new here or if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed already, then please do, then you will never miss a video. Also, I'm going to be uploading a few extra bonus videos here and there, so I'll stick with my regular Sunday morning upload but I will be throwing in a few more surprises for you as we go into the autumn months so do stay tuned for lots more videos here I've got lots of fun stuff on the way for you but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening whatever time it is that you're watching this video and I'll see you very soon bye